In this video, I'm going to show you how to sell a website with a 100% close rate. This is part two of a video series on how to launch and scale a niche web design agency. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to sell a website, not necessarily how to find a client, but I will give you some, um, some tips on finding clients if that is something that you're struggling with. Before I get started, let me jump into Stripe just to show you that um, what I do is legit. So this is, this is my Stripe account. Um, I can refresh it so that you can see it's legit, but this business is only one year and like four months old. And I used to have a different agency before then. And then I decided to niche down and you can see that my net volume from sales is $253,000. Uh, I mean pounds because it's registered in the UK, even though I get paid in dollars, but I get payments very frequently. So 253,000 pounds GBP to rands. If you're in South Africa, that's like nearly, that's five and a half million rand um, in a website design agency. That is crazy. Um, and, you know, we get the work fulfilled for really cheap overseas, like in India and Philippines and South Africa, and we have great margins. So that's the power of website design and, you know, just doing this course. Okay, cool. Back to business, baby. Here we go. So first of all, like I said, I'm going to give you some tips on how to find a client. My step one would be go local, use the network that you have. This is if you're in America and, you know, if you're in America or in Europe or the UK, not if you're in South Africa, the Philippines or India, because they don't pay a lot for their websites. The, the reason that we've got the numbers we've got is because, you know, we go directly to where people make the most money and then we choose an industry that they make a lot of money and then we just target them there. It's the same thing, just in the right place. So just make sure you're in the right place. But that's step number one. So leverage your network. What that means is become the website guy or say, I'm going to do websites. So post it on Facebook, post it on Instagram, um, tell your mom to post it, use the network that you have, tell your friends, tell your family, you know, you do websites. Step number two would be craft an irresistible offer. Something like you don't like it, you don't pay. I'll work up front for free until you like it. Um, this is especially in the beginner stage, you know, when you don't have a portfolio, then this is something that you might want to do. Now, obviously I run a niche agency, so I only go after one specific type of client. And so once you have a portfolio, it kind of just starts, you know, rolling and snowballing. But yeah, so once you've crafted that irresistible offer, just write a little thing, then send it out, Facebook, Instagram, send the DMs, send the emails, whoever you need to email, whoever you need to DM, send them a message, um, friends, family, check out their business's website, send them that message and then book the call with them. So here we go into the reason why you're in this video. So this is the actual call structure. I'm going to say this, I'm not going to discuss any sales tac tactics in this in this video, there's a lot of sales tactics that will help you close better. But if you follow this framework, like you literally just, you know, follow these steps on the calls, then you will have a way higher close rate and it will basically literally just happen. It's, it's honestly just a hack. And um, I'm at a point where I don't need to do two calls. I can do it in one call, but in the beginning, definitely do it in, in two calls. So call number one, here we go. <clears throat> The first thing that you want to do is you want to establish rapport. So, you know, get on a call with them and speak to them like a friend, you know, loosen up and hear what they have to say, ask them how they're doing and then tell them how you're doing, tell them what you just did and why you're excited to get on the call with them. Um, so step number two would be set the expectation, say, okay, well, John, that's great. Thank you so much for taking the time to actually jump on a call with me. I was very excited to speak with you. Um, now, for me to actually be able to help you and, you know, help you get some results in your business and get the result that we want, I'm going to need to understand your business. So is it okay if I ask you a few questions about your business? So that is what you want to do. Set the expectation. What you've just done is you set an expectation that this call is about gathering information. So you're just gathering information. Boom, that's the expectation. And now you, um, <clears throat> now you can lead the call with that. Now you start with an open-ended question. Great, John. Well, how is it going with your business? Tell me more about it. And then they'll tell you about their business, how it's going. Maybe they'll give you a lot of information. What Maybe they won't give you a lot of information. Pro tip on the side, record the call. Whatever you do, you have to record this phone call. Um, even if it's a Zoom, record the Zoom. Um, but start with an open-ended question. Once the, the conversation is flowing, 
gather the information you need. So what we really want to find out is how much money they make, how big is the business. And what this will tell you is how much you can charge them, right? So if they're making $100,000 a month, you can easily charge them $5,000 for their website because you can help them make $20,000 a month, like $20,000 extra. And so now you feel a lot more confident charging them that, right? Um, <clears throat> even 500 bucks for a website, that's nothing. Or like 10,000 Rand, that's really nothing. Um, so yeah, find, get, gather all the information you need. How many people are working for you right now? How much money do you make? Or like, if you don't want to directly ask them how much money they make, ask them what service they provide. And they say, and then ask how, how much does it cost, you know, to have that service done? And then how many times do they sell that service a month? You can do the basic math on how much money they're making. And then you do the math while you're on the call and say, well, that means that you're making a hundred thousand dollars, right? And then they'll, they'll say, yeah, we do about $100,000 at the moment. Cool. So once you've done that and you've gathered the information you need, identify their goals. Okay, John, well, I see, you know, I understand a bit more about your, your business now, but, you know, what do you want to achieve? Like, what are your goals, right? Wh wh why are you speaking to me? Don't ask them that, but um, figure that out. So ask them about their goals. And then once they tell you their goals, repeat it back to them, say, okay, you're making a hundred thousand, you want to make 200,000. Now figure out why they're not. Now you want to identify the problem. The reason we do this is so that we sell this solution to them in call number two, right? That's why call number one is all about gathering information. Then you sell the solution back to them in call number two, the solution that they came up with. So you're not just shooting in the dark here. That's why you have a hundred percent close rates because on call number two, we're going to ask them if I provide you the solution that, you know, the answers that you're looking for to achieve your goals, and you know, you're confident risk-free that it will achieve your goals. Will you go with it? Then they'll say yes. And you do that before you even start the call and they'll, they'll go for it. But now we identify the problem. So he's making hundred thousand dollars, but he wants to make $200,000. Um, why are you not making $200,000? John will say, oh man, well, you know, I need to get my sales guys, right? Like there's some admin on the back end, and my website and my online space is just really not, not working really well. Um, so kind of just let them identify some problems. You can also identify problems with them, um, but you really just want that verbal commitment from them, what the actual problem is. So now you don't have to speak about the website. Don't talk about functionality, anything like that, because you don't even know if you can help them. What you need to do is do your research. So you say, well, John, thank you so much for your time. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to need a little bit of time to take all this information and do some research and figure out a strategy so that we can actually help you achieve your goals. And then what I'll do is I'll put that together. I'll wrap it up in a proposal and then I'll present that to you. And if you like it, we can work together. If not, no harm, right? They'll say yes. Then you, then you get a verbal commitment to a second meeting. Say, cool, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, now after the call, will you be available tomorrow at 10 o'clock? tomorrow, same time, get that verbal commitment. They say, yes, I'll be available. Um, then you book that in the calendar, put them in the calendar, and then you show up tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Now, in the meantime, before call number two, you need to go home and do your research. So remember, I told you to record the call. What you do now is go listen to the call recording, open up a Google Doc, right? Just like this, open up a Google Doc and summarize the entire call. All the information about the business, how much money they're making, how it works, um, what their goal is, why they're not achieving their goal, everything. I want to know everything when they were founded, why they started, what they do, how they do it, what their problems are. Everything needs to go on this call on this, on this Google doc. And then alongside that, below that create a strategy, which would often just be a website with SEO and that's going to help them achieve their goal. So you want to, you want to summarize them. Um, you want to create a strategy and then do a little bit of research. So go find other companies like them and then show them their website. So you go and do the research and then you put it in there. Well, here is company A, company B, and this is what they've done and this is how they're achieving their goals. Um, cool, now you're prepared for call number two. So what we're gonna do in call number two is essentially we're going to present them the, with a solution, but before that we're gonna arm ourselves with you know warming them up by recapping everything, making sure that they know you understand. So call number two happens. Boom, what you do? First, establish rapport. Hey, John, how are you doing? Good stuff. Just be casual, be cool. He's your friend, right? You're, you're just a human, just like he is, trying to figure shit out in life. Okay, so no reason to be stressed. Um, then what you want to do is 
Okay, well, before I get into this and present the solution to you, I am just going to recap everything we discussed on the last call just to make sure that I'm on the same page. Then you literally give him the whole summary that you have in your Google Doc. You were founded in 2010, you started with this, but now you're selling this and you just give them all the information that he gave you. At the end of that, I've literally had clients tell me, it feels like you know my business better than I do. So now they know that you understand them and that's why they'll end up choosing you. So you recap the, you recap everything, summarize it, then you recap the objective. You say you want to make 200,000 and then you recap the problem, but you're making 100,000 uh, and the reason you're not making 200,000 is because your website's not ready. Well, check this out. I've done some research for you and I think you're going to like what I have, uh, what I found. And then you show him the research, show him the other companies, what they're doing. And then once you've done that, you know, share your research, your insight. Once you've done that, present your solution. Say, hey, I'm going to do the same thing for you. And you know what I said in my offer? Uh, if you don't like it, you don't pay for it. Um, but my solution is let because you're, you're, you're a smaller company, you're on a budget, or maybe it's a bigger company, they've got a bigger budget. Um, then you say, this is my solution. Let's build a five page website. These are the pages we need. And then we need to do some SEO on it so that you're actually discoverable online. And then that's going to help your business achieve your goals. Um, boom. So then what you want to do once you've done that, once you've presented the solution is you want to stack and pitch, basically stack and pitch means you just take these things, you stack them all together really quickly, and then you pitch. So you, you recap everything real quick. You recap the objectives, you recap the problem, you share the insight all in like two or three sentences, right? Um, and then you present the solution and then you pitch it. So you say, and I'm going to help. I'm going to make a website that's going to help you achieve that. For, for that, it's $5,000. Then you say the price. That's the stacking and pitching. Then you close. So you say the price. And the second you say the price, $5,000, $500, $1,000, $10,000, you say nothing else. First person to speak loses. You say $5,000, you keep quiet. Right? And then once they, once they start speaking to you back on that, then you close them up. And you take them further along through the process. And that's how I've sold, you know, the numbers that we're selling. And this has helped me out a tremendous amount. Guys, if you have any questions at all, please just drop a comment down below um, on YouTube or send me a message on Instagram. Um, I really just want to help you guys do this. Maybe create like a full blown, you know, course. I know this is a very um, uh, amateur video, but I know that there, there is value in this. So I hope that you've, you've taken that value home. If there's any way that I can help you, please pop some suggestions down below and let me know. Thank you very much.